Om Shanti and welcome back. Today we are doing a recording of 19th of September's Godly Blessing. Where Supreme Father wants us to become a natural yogi. He wants us to follow everything which he has taught us to the T. And he wants us to feel as if we are already it. Now what does that mean? Is what we are going to discover in this. Now this kind of concept can help you out in many areas of your life. Whether you are in a family relationship, whether you are in an office, whether you are running your business or whether you are working for any kind of corporate. So here Godfather says, may you make the speciality of your Brahmin birth, your natural nature and become an easy effort maker. What does that mean? Someone born in a royal family reminds himself or herself again and again. I am a prince or a princess, even though his or her actions may be ordinary. We have already seen the royal families, we have seen different cultures, different religions, where the royal families, different countries with the royal families, they portray themselves or they behave, they act, they sit, they eat, they think, they talk in a different manner, which is not a common manner. Any commoner, if you put that person next to those royal beings, the prince or the princess or the queen or the king, you can immediately find out the difference. There is a demeanor and that is totally different. Now here, same thing happens when you talk to a person who is on a post or a position. Now if you are a police officer, if you are a lawyer, if you are a minister, if you are a judge, if you are in the municipality on a higher position as a chairman or something, you have a different demeanor. As soon as you are on the seat, you are a different person. You go back to your house, you are a different person provided you are a different person but if you take that same personality back home you are going to have trouble. So what I am trying to say over here and what God is trying to say over here is that every role requires us with a change in a personality and as a soul we can change ourselves immediately and at that time we should know in what way should we behave but God over here is saying that our behavior should be a royal behavior doesn't matter which line of work you are in doesn't matter whether you are a sweeper, whether you are a maid servant, whether you are a clerk, whether you are an officer or whatsoever, but your behavior should be royal. Because we are talking about the soul and we are not talking about the profession over here. Let's take the profession out from this. How about you being a soul and you considering yourself to be a godly child? How will your behavior be? How will you think? How will you talk? How will you act? How will you guide other people? So here God says, even though his or her actions may be ordinary, they do not forget the speciality of their birth. In the same way, you Brahmin, your Brahmin birth is also a special birth. Now what does a Brahmin mean? Brahmin birth means we have come to know that who do we belong to. We are the creation of the Supreme Creator. Yes, okay, everybody knows that. But who is he and what are his qualities, what, are his, what is the divineness or the divinity in that Supreme Creator? If you get to know that which we learn in Brahma Kumaris, there are 36 qualities and infinite qualities actually which are there in the Supreme Creator God. And if we get to know those qualities and if we start working on them, automatically our behavior will be loyal, royal, kind, we will have gestures which are very, very slow and kind we'll have a demeanor which is going to show that yes, we have wisdom within us and we are not some ordinary human being. God then says, your birth is elevated. Your dharma, that means religion, is elevated. So the dharma of soul consciousness or the dharma of Brahmin souls who are soul conscious is peace, is love, is happiness, is joy and most importantly, they are in service. They cannot see an ailing soul. They cannot see when a soul is in disturbance, when a soul is creating disturbance for themselves. They don't pity them, but they have mercy on them and they guide them, no matter what. Then God says, Dharma, religion is elevated and your karma, action is also elevated. So and karma and action, elevated action is where you are having mercy, you are kind, you are generous, you are helpful. And you are doing all of that mostly in a spiritual way as compared to the world 
where people are generally doing any kind of help or karma, good karma in the form of financial or any other kind of physical help. Here God is talking about spiritual help. You are helping souls to become more powerful within. Because ask yourself, you would like millions of dollars in your house as compared to what you have right now and peace of mind in your house. Which will you weigh more? I know the answer for different people will be different. But then for most of the people in the world whom I have been meeting, people who are well of people, they are saying, if I have peace of mind, I am more than happy. So then next thing, we want to understand that what is this elevated karma? The elevated karma over here pertains to or it draws us back to the understanding that when I am able to help somebody to become peaceful, by thinking peaceful about them, by finding lesser faults and more qualities in them, I am actually being helpful. Because God says even a thought is your karma. It's not just about what you say and what you act, but your thought about a person is also karma. So when this greatness, that means you being a Brahmin soul, if you think pure about others, you are actually spreading peace. Imagine that is the level of karma which we are talking about. So God then says when this greatness, your speciality is in your awareness, in a natural way, you will become an easy effort maker. Thinking that I am on this stage and I am God's royal child. Now, the more we remember this, the better. The time we forget this, we get back into the ordinary actions, the ordinary way of responding, ordinary way of talking. And as soon as we remember this, immediately we check ourselves, we change ourselves. Even the royal people do that. How am I behaving? How am I dressed up? How am I talking? Where should I keep my hand? How should I talk? How should I gesture? Am I coming off too easy? Am I being somebody who is calm and composed? Or am I becoming too jittery? So all those things come into even us when we are soul conscious. That means we have Atma Vishwas within us. Then in the end God says, souls who have a special life cannot perform ordinary actions. That means we cannot be getting into small, small quarrels. We cannot be getting into small, small talks. We, When we feel, we care about people, when we are actual Brahmins who are ready to change the world, we care, we show that care. But at the same time, we are detached. That is royalty. A non-royal person will be asking for name and fame, will be asking and wanting them to confirm to them. Whereas a royal person will be detached from it. They will guide them, at the same time they will be detached. So this is what God wants us to do for more details, for more learning about this, because this is going to help you in your different endeavors, maybe your workplace, maybe your business, maybe your, even in your family. For more details, for more practice about this, you can come over and learn this at Brahma Kumaris. With this Om Shanti.